Welcome back. This is going to be the session on putting in the granite countertop and kitchen sink and faucet. Um, the last show we talked about putting together the cabinets and um, which were drawers and doors. So you can look back at those if you'd like. This is a faux granite countertop. It's printed um, on the HP printer and it's on printable vinyl and then it's um, cut out on the Cricut and I have other videos that discuss how to do that but as you can see today this is going to be focused on the kitchen sink and if you're wondering that is not a butter tub that is actually a ranch dressing container from a fast food restaurant and as we've said before the cabinetry is all made from mat board and printable vinyl and paint and so I've taken two sheets of the mat board and glued them together and Thanks to my wonderful husband, he helped me figure out how to sketch out the opening for the sink, since I've never done this before. And I decided this time just to use the X-Acto knife instead of trying to use the Cricut. I wanted to compare the two, and there are pluses and minus for both. The pluses, it doesn't make nearly as much mess as you'll see. The minus, it takes a lot of effort. And um, if you have arthritis, I would not recommend it because you're cutting through two layers of matte board as well as the glue, which I use the Aileen's Tacky Glue. And it was many, many passes through that and um, had to sand it just like I do when I cut it from the Cricut. But it took a very long time to cut through. But I'm very happy with the results. And I'm just showing you both sides, front and back, as, as I trimmed it. And there were some pieces of the matte board, the outer layer that came up but a little sanding, your vinyl over it, you don't even miss it. Um, you do have to add for an overhang where you want it. Decided since it was going against the wall, we didn't need much of an overhang, just like in a real kitchen, but add enough overhang in the front. But also need to make sure that your drawers and your doors are going to be able to open and close when you put your countertop on. And I decided to make this um, a sink that's on top of the granite instead of an undermount and that just shows you the few shavings that you get quite different and I just use fine grit sandpaper and sand all the edges of the mat board and then to paint the sink I used acrylic white paint um, I think any brand would do and then I used a metallic um, French white um, pearl white and then a Mod Podge um, dimensional to see if I could get more of a, a luster. So they're just showing you the different layers. You can see in this one where you had the, um, the enamel, let's see exactly what it's called. It is the metallic paint, um, pearl. And it actually took two coats of the white and two cuts, coats of the pearl um, to get the effect I wanted. And then what I'm going to do is show you how you cut out the um, the vinyl. It's a little different than we normally use with a Cricut because normally you would use a transfer tape but this is a long sheet so I measured it um, to see exactly how much I needed plus adding for the overhang and use my handy dandy ruler cut it out with the X-Acto knife and then I just peel off the piece I want and um, it's very easy to peel and that just shows you how nicely it comes off and then you lay it down and you're going to actually lay your um, template, which is your countertop, on top of it. So the bottom of this screen is the white backing of that printable vinyl. And I just laid the um, template on top and then just took a pencil and drew around, took the X-Acto knife in the center and cut out small triangles to try to get it as tight against the edge of the sink as possible. And, um, and you can see as we work through there. And I worked with several small triangles because I wanted it to be a nice clean edge. And then I just took the sides of the X-Acto knife and just rolled it on there to make it nice and as tight as possible. So there you are. Looks almost like a little pinwheel formation. And this is the outside. So I kept flipping back and forth just to see how it was going to do and then just cut off the extra edges. So there you have the top, but the sides still have to be glued on. And I found the printable vinyl wasn't sticky enough, didn't have enough adhesive. So I actually used the Aileen's Tacky Glue to glue the sides and the ends to the um, 
So you see the glue there. And then I rolled it up on its side, made it tight, and then I used banker's clips, which are my next best friend, I think, in doing this. I did the long sides first. Then I actually, um, you can see that this is the, uh, the painted um, sink. And then I just, um, just worked on the ends. I mitered the corners and then glued those on and used the banker's clips and let it sit for quite a while to make sure it was dry. This is the finished sink, um, again, with the white acrylic and then the pearl essence, and then I used the Mod Podge. <clears throat> I used tacky glue to glue it down to the top of the granite, faux granite, and then used banker's clips. But I dry fitted it quite a few times to make sure I had exactly the tight fit that I wanted. Um, it's, I'm pretty pleased with it. That's the underside. That's what you would see if you open the cabinet under the sink to see. I could add a drain. I don't know if I will or won't. Right now I just I'm so thrilled to have this much done. So there you are. That's what it looks like. And then now I have not glued the top down yet. That's just dry fitting the sink. You know, you'll just see it from front and back. And then I used the glue on the edges of the cabinetry and then laid it on top. And because you've got a difference in, in edges there, you've got to put some weight on it to let it sit and dry. I ordered the faucet through um, Amazon. It's pretty cool. It was inexpensive. It took over a month to get it, but it looks really cool. And I just took um, a sharp pointed object and then just kept working to dry to drill a hole. Then I used um, Gorilla Glue, Super Glue, and the Aliens Tacky Glue to glue the faucet to the back of the sink. And um, you can see the results. So that's our island in the kitchen. And then you have the cabinetry with the sink next to the window. And uh, I have to say we're very pleased. All of this is out of mat board printable vinyl and acrylic paint, and the appliances and all the cabinetry. So it was a lot of fun, a lot of work because I didn't know what I was doing. I've never done this before. So I did a lot of research and I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please like and subscribe and share and come back to see more.